well. Okay, good morning. Let's begin. Okay, good morning, my dear students, my dear colleagues, my well-wishers. Today, I'm presenting myself. Uh, Lil Hamal is the MCQ's expert. Well, let's begin. Well, here is a question for you. Are MCQs the biggest fear of you? It may be yes, or it may be no. Okay, I heard about that most of these students, they are saying yes. The MCQs are very difficult, but I say they are very easy. So because you need to learn some of the tricks and the strategies, what to do, during the period of examination. Says, so we'll be talking about measure skills of attempting MCQs, multiple choice questions. Well, first of all, let's talk about backgrounds of MCQs. MCQs, multiple choice questions, are objectives. They are unlike that of subjectives. Well, your skills and experiences may put you at a higher position. Okay, let's say you are a average type of student and you may gain higher score. If you have lack of skills, you will achieve low score, though you are very studious. And an average student will gain more. So I've got the proof and I've got a long experience. Most of the subjective toppers are not necessarily the objective toppers. In my objective test, the school boy, the school first boy and first girl may not be the first in the MCQ test because it is different. Sometimes your tricks and ideas work nicely in the MCQ so that every kind of students gain more. That is the reason. One good news for the MCQs, you don't have to memorize the answers because the answers are supplied there. Okay, this is sample MCQ set. Okay, so it has got a question and answers of four options. So likewise, another, another, so you want to know what does it mean. So I'm just showing you a sample. So there is a question. Question asks something and it has got four answers. A, B, C, D. And you need to pick up one of the best alternatives. Another type of MCQ set. So question number one, it has got four answers. A, B, C, D, E, sometimes five also. Yeah, so sometimes four, sometimes five. But in Nepal, the MCQs having four alternatives are very popular. So it is another sample. So it has got four options, A, B, C, D. For example, question number two, in the figure below, what is the ratio of the stated area to the unstated region? So this is the picture and ABCD, these are the answers. So one should be the answer. Okay, so you need to find it out. So we are entering into the big questions up to this session. How to attempt MCQ's test? To achieve more, to gain more actually that you know more than actually that you know. So attempting MCQs is very tricky. Sometimes your knowledge does not work. Your knowledge and trick works. For example, the money and education works. Money itself does not work. Education itself does not work. The money and education together work very nicely. A student having knowledge of its background and solving its skills can often better score. For this, you have to consider the following strategies. Remember these points. Point number one. 
you should know that every question has four alternatives. So basically, uh, this is the general trend in Nepal, even in the exam of MBBS. For example, in which phylum does the silver fish belong to? It has got four answers, Cordita, Arthropoda, Mollusca, Echinodermata. This is just an example. You don't have to give the answer. Just, just this is the question and it has got four alternatives and one should be the correct answer. So the press point is that you are supplied with the four alternatives. One is the correct answer and remaining trees are useless. Another example, which one of the followings is the philosopher's wool? It's a literal meaning of one of the chemicals. Magnesium oxide, calcium oxide, zinc oxide, mercuric oxide. So one of these should be the correct answer. Next question. Third ventricle is associated with the heart, the lungs, stomach, the brain. Good. If you want to know the answer, we'll be discussing the answers later on, but today I'm not teaching you the answers. I'm teaching you skills because I have to go more points. I'm going forward. Thank you very much. So you can make a screenshot and you can um, ask in a private messenger um, and an email as well, if you have any question. Um, thank you very much. So point number two, you should find the correct alternative out of four. There are four alternatives and three of them are useless or incorrect. One is the correct. You should find the correct alternative out of four. Hence, for every question, your answer will be only one. A or B or C or D. Your answer can't be A and B. Can't be B and C. But it can be only one option. It may be option A or option B or option C or option D. Number three. Read the instructions first carefully and try to find out what is asked to do. For example, tick the best alternative. If you are asked to tick, if you circle technically wrong, Okay, if you are asked to tick the best alternative, please tick. Sometimes you'll be asked to cross the color, cross the correct alternative. So cross like this, like this. C is crossed here, B is ticked here. So sometimes you'll be asked, circle the best alternative. For example, A is the best alternative. So you circle that one. And sometimes you'll be asked to say it. The correct alternative, the grid is given like this, A, B, C, D. So if you said it, the grid under C, the correct answer given, the answer given here is the C. May be correct or may not be correct, but this is the way of the answering. So if you are asked to tick, tick like this. If you are asked to cross, cross like this. If you are asked to circle, circle like this. And if you are asked, to save the grid, save the grid like this. So you will be provided a separate answer sheet and question booklet. So you will be reading the questions in the question booklet and you will be transferring the answer in the answer sheet like this. For example, question number 64, A, B, C, D. This is student said it, the option C, that of the question number 64. Hopefully it is correct, let's say. Well, this is another uh, sample answer sheet. This person is shading with the red ink. Normally red ink is not allowed. So the dark blue or black ink is allowed, that of the ball pen.
end of the sample sit like this a b c d four options question number one for example c question number two for example a think i like that this is the sample answer sheet this is the sample answer grid before attempting and the right hand side is sample answer grid after attempting so c is set it question number s2 b is set it question number s3 a is set it and sure it looks like a very you know informative answer sheet launched by some school or college or university asking the rule number and a name and father's name in capital letters and these are the answer grid and ask to the set like this and so on it should be somewhere from india because i see some of the um, information asked in hindi as well okay just sample no problem so another answer sheet so question number one four options a b c d if the correct answer is b so tick the b well so so we talked about what to do you can sit you can tick or you can cross or you can circle but what to do read the instruction carefully what is it asked to do do exactly the same don't do another because it becomes technically wrong for example i told somewhere there was uh, asked to write true or false and a student wrote yes or no so so true and yes different thing so if it is asked to write true write true okay the true cannot be replaced by yes and false cannot be replaced by no that's a different thing it is an every question at least two or three times and make sure you understood how many times should i read the question you should read 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 how many times that many times unless you understand the question okay one is trying to understand the question while reading the question one time that's okay and another understand a question by reading two times that's okay another doesn't understand while reading five times read six times seven times ten times because if you don't understand question you don't understand what is the answer even be more careful uh, if there is negative or opposite words such as not or no or less for example useless functionless treeless lifeless without double negatives etc because no not less without the give the opposite meaning double negatives give the positive meaning you should understand about that point number five read all the alternatives one by one giving the full concentration and understand the meaning of each option you need to read the option a and understand and correlate with the question so if you think this is not the answer go to b c and d if you think a is the answer still you need to go b or c d also because there should be better answer in option d doesn't mean that you you understood a question and a is also the answer but sometimes the answer should be a c both a and b for example or d all of the above do not find that which the answer is directly so your intention is not to find out the answer for example you are looking the stones in the rice you need to try to find out the stones and not the rice and the remaining will be the rice that's good the first of all please try to find out that which not the answer is please remove incorrect answers one by one this method is called elimination method or cancellation method what is this method called elimination method 
or can cancellation method. What does it mean? It means we try to remove the incorrect options. More we are able to remove and there will be more chance of the making the answers correct. For example, which is not a prokaryote? This is the way of writing in internationally standard. For example, if there is some negative meaning, for example, not, the, the very high class university or school or very academic people, they write down not in capital letter like this or even bold. If it is color, different color. If it is that of the same color, black and white, still they make bold and, and upper cases. Why is that? If it is done directly, the eye of the student go there and they will find out this is something negative question. So it's very easier to understand the question. So same question written in Nepali way, which is not a prokaryote. The question is the same, but what is the difference? Not is not written in upper cases. That is why a student will understand sometime by missing a knot, which is a prokaryote. Okay, that's why sometimes our question making format or concept is something um, not very correct as far as I'm concerned. The answer is Salmonella, Nostoc, Anabiana, Spirogyra. Prokaryote means organism belonging to phylum, so I beg your pardon, kingdom Monera, including the bacteria and blue green algae, also known as cyanobacteria. Salmonella is a bacteria, so eliminate that one. So, no stock is blue green algae. Remove this one. Anna Biena. Actually, I didn't understand Anna Biena, for example. I'm, I'm a test taker, so I didn't understand. Let's go to the Spirogyra. Spirogyra is, is an algae belonging to kingdom planty. Division algae. So kingdom planty all contents. Planty contains all the eukaryotes. Eukaryotes means organisms having true nucleus. So, though I didn't understand Anabina, doesn't matter. So, Spirogyra is the answer. Okay. So, try to answer not. So, this is prokaryote A, and B also prokaryote very common. Didn't understand C, but I found eukaryote Spirogyra. So. If Spirogyra is eukaryote, it means the question is not prokaryote. So that, that should be the answer. A man's salary was increased by 10% at first and then again increased by 10%. What is the total increment from the original salary? 11%, 21%, 31%, 41%. First increased by 10%. And again, 10% from the increased salary. So what is the total percentage of increments from original salary? Sales A, B, C, D, these are the options. Let's make a raw analysis. The salary is increased two times. Is 10% and 10%. This is called raw analysis, okay, raw. Raw means shouldn't be correct, shouldn't be exact. Two times, 10%, one time, 10%, and times, another times. It equal to 20% at least. So, it cannot be the answer because this is just 11 percent d cannot be the answer this is too big too high the answer should be either the b or the c and to find it out you need to calculate you need to do some sort of solution you will find the answer 21 exactly and the correct answer is b Well, point number seven. More the incorrect options that you remove, then there will be more chances of making the answer correct. So 
Do not try to pick up the correct answers. Try to remove the incorrect answers. More you remove the incorrect answers and you will have more chances of making the answers correct. The probability increases. For example, the four options, one is the answer. You are going to make the correct answer out of four. You have the probability one by four or 25% or 0 0.25, whatever. 25% chance that you have, probability that you have to make the correct answer. Because total outcomes four, and you are going to pick up one, so the probability is one by four, or 25%. If you remove another, if you remove only one, the probability increases to be 33.33%. Again, if you remove one more, and the chances of making correct answer will be 50%, because out of four, you remove two, and remaining two, so now you have the chance of making correct answer, 50%. If you are able to remove one more means three altogether and remaining will be only one, that will be the 100% correct answer. So elimination method is the best method of attempting multiple choice questions. For example, Australian highest mountain is. Okay, so Australian means should be from Australia. Should be from where? Australia. Okay, elimination. Mount Everest, I know this is very well. Nepal, elimination, gone. So Mount K2, it is in Pakistan. Some people say India, but I better would like to say Pakistan. Okay. And so one and A and D gone, eliminated. I eliminated two. Mount Fuji, Fuji is something, Mount Fuji or Fuji. So something, the Japanese word, it should be from Japan. I don't know about Mount Kosciuszko. Mount Kosciuszko, I really don't know, but remaining option is Mount Kosciuszko. I think this should be the correct answer. This is the correct answer. This is called elimination method. You cannot eliminate like this. You just cross, cross the incorrect options in the exam. It give more impasses to the sum of the options such as both A and B. If you think they are both A and B, if you have uh, an option stating both A and B, or both B and C, or all of the above, so just have a look. I have changed the color. So others are blue and these things are made red, both A and B, or both B and C, or all of the above. And skip more impasses to them because they are likely to be correct answer. They have very high chance of being answered. I recommend um, the, to go with them. So 90%, okay? And another option, the option none or none of the above, none or none of the above, has very less probability of being the correct answer. Normally, my student, I, I tell my students to ignore them. There's, there shouldn't be option none or none of the above, number one. If in case there are options none or none of the above, answer shouldn't be that. Answer shouldn't be that. If the answer is none or none of the above, why is it necessary to make the question? When a disqualified teacher makes a question, then he or she puts the option none or none of the above and answer will be that as well. Why do they do that? Did they do that for the safe landing? If in case they give the options A, B, C and and so they still confused. They don't know what is the exact answer. So, so they got confused and, and they give the fourth option, none of the above or none for, for, for safe landing saying that I give the another option so they can make the answer none or none of them. So this is not, this is not the way of <coughs> justification, I'm sorry. So nowadays, there shouldn't be the option none or none of the above. In case they appear in the question, shouldn't be the answer that one.
Well, so what is the function of tentacles in cylindrates? Number A, locomotion. Number B, feeding. So number A, locomotion, this is the correct answer. And it's written tick here, or cross here, or circle here, according to the instruction. And the B, feeding. And maybe feeding too. And there is option, both A and B, and none. So I eliminate the option none. Because this is my strategy. We don't worry about the none. And, and I, I told you to say, uh, to give more emphasis to A and B. So the function of tentacles is a locomotion, the feeding as well. I cannot make the T A and B, but I should make the T or circle C, or I should set the option C. That's the correct answer. So we need to give more emphasis to that option, which says both A and B or both B and C, for example. And we should ignore or neglect the option none. That's a strategy. That's a skill. And we need to give more emphasis to that option, stating both A and B or B and C. Do not panic though you don't know the answer. Students, they already panic, you know. Do not panic. Sometimes this is the answer that you really don't know. Sometimes this is the answer that you really don't know. For example, I didn't know Mount Kosciuszko. So it was the answer. It is so because if you know three options out of four are incorrect, then the remaining fourth one should be the correct answer. For instance, I give an example, the, the question I showed you before regarding Mount Kosciuszko. Well, let's go here. Which one is a fish? Yeah, crayfish, devilfish, silverfish, tilapia. Okay, so here A, B, and C are false species that you know, for example. Okay, false species means they are commonly called fish but they are not belonging to the phylum chordate and class spices. So the crayfish, arthropod, devilfish, octopus, mollusca, silverfish, insect, arthropoda. So, so A, B, C are false species. So I actually don't know what is tilapia. The answer should be D, though I don't know what is tilapia means. So fortunately tilapia, is a fish, true fish. So sometimes you don't have to panic if you don't know the answer. So keep on removing the false answers and whatever left, that will be the answer. Prepare well, universal matter. For this, read more subject related things in point forms or fact forms. Make a point, do not make a big note, make a very big, brief, very small note. The point forms. A fact. Fact means values, place, and person, date, etc. Without preparation, you see all the options are same and correct. So there are answers A, B, C, D. The correct answer is only one. But your preparation is very poor. Then you see all the options are correct, all the options are the same. So it's very difficult. Well, if your preparation is poor, then there is no any options except biting a pen. For example, this boy doing. So your preparation very, very weak, then just you bite your pen, that's it. Nothing to do with that. So preparation, most important thing. Trivial. Remember name of the people, the scientist, date, name of the device, object, functions, number, location, Precisely. You need to know these things. The people, the name of the person, the date, name of the device. For example, hydrometer, altimeter, hygrometer, for example. It's a barometer, objects. For example, ship, aeroplanes, functions. What are the functions? So nervous, olfactory functions, or vision. Number, two, four, six, eight, 10, 20, 100, 200. 24, 31, 46, what are the number? Location, where are they found? You need to remember these things. If you think two of the options are correct, leave it and go ahead. If you think two of the options are correct, leave it at the moment and go ahead and come back. 
spell we think. Do not leave an answer of any questions blank. You will make something correct. Incidentally, you will have no negative marking if something is wrong. So if you make something wrong, and you will not have any, any negative markings. But I have got here, conditions apply in some of the uh, MBBS, that of the IOM, uh, uh, Institutes of Medicine, uh, they put the negative marking. One of the my students got, got um, minus, minus, minus 30. So minus 20 or 30, whatever, there was negative. Yeah, because he made more incorrect, less correct. So that's why you got negative. That's what conditions apply. So according to the rules and regulations of the Institute. Revise your question and answer sets twice, thrice, and even more, uh, unless and until you are satisfied. Thank you. Number 15. First of all, work on the question paper. The same question paper you can work. In most of the institutes, they provide extra seats. Extra copy, you will get extra copy. You work there. You do not directly write on answer sheet. Then transfer your answer on the answer sheet by doing tick or circling, or setting as per the information provided at the top of the question paper. What is it asked to do? The shading or circling or tick or cross, whatever asked to do, you need to, you need to do the, exactly the same, not the different thing. Generally, you are asked to use a pen, not a pencil, no. Preferably black to transfer the answers when I answer sit. Please keep your answer sit tidy. You cannot make something the meshy or dirty. You are used to use a pen, ball pen, or yeah, ball pen. <laughs> Too often high school used to study and practice hard. Please do not expect much if your preparation is not enough. For that, allocate enough time for your study and practice. A lot of books, read them. Keep calm and study hard. Canceling the first answer and then presenting another options is the answer will be invalid, though it is correct. Think before answering, not after answering. So, Think before answering, not after answering, okay? So, for example, this person said the option A, thinking that option A was the correct answer, and eventually he found option A was wrong. He canceled and he presented C as the answer. The C is correct answer, but he has done like this. One is already canceled and C is presented as the answer, finally. Though C is correct, it is wrong. Number two, A is correct and option, option, option A is said it. So this is the correct way of doing. So you understood doing this incorrect. Option four correct, option five incorrect. You said it already one and you canceled and you presented another answer. Though it is correct, it is counted as invalid or incorrect. So it cannot do this. Think before answering, not after answering. Just like a bullet, think before shooting a person. Find a correct person that you're going to shoot, for example. I beg your pardon. You shouldn't be offense, right? There are some questions still you need to know the direct answer. It's called direct answer types questions where you need to know name, number, location, value, etc. For instance, who is the father of zoology? Hippocrates, Aristotle, Theophrastus, Linnaeus. So you need to know the name directly. The correct answer is B. How many cranial nerves are there in humans? So you need to know number of cranial nerves. Okay, Tubel, 24, 36, 48. We talked about Tubel pairs, but I don't have here two. So students take it A. A is the wrong answer. The correct answer is B, for example. Okay? Good. You need to know the answer so directly because this is direct time. Okay, so, so I'm presenting myself as the elite coordinator. Now we are running the, the, the paid classes. We can 
you can have the class of bridge course or online plus two science and management course or you can join for city EBT entrance program we're running classes of 11 or what any sort of the entrance preparation classes 7 a.m to 10 a.m if you're interested you can make a screenshot and you can contact one of us it has got the the price four thousand per package means for one person until the schools or colleges resumes okay that's all for today thank you very much i hope you are benefited so if you have any question have a good time thank you very much thank you for watching see you next time if you have any queries regarding the questions or presentation you can directly contact me so privately thank you very much you have a good day today